Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and you are looking at the new Cobalt Sea View 18 gallon tank that we just got today. Literally, we just put it together and set it up, and we put some marker rocks in there. Uh, Isaac aquascaped it right away. These rocks will make you look like an instant aquascaping pro. There's no way you could set them wrong. I'll show you guys a little bit of what they look like. Um, every single thing is just, every corner has a nook, a granny, cranny, somewhere to put a rock to stack it where it won't slide, which is pretty nice. So for smaller tanks, you can do these without the mortar, but some of the bigger tanks, we do have some mortar and we are gonna um, put these together safely. So I just wanted to show you guys the different styles that we have of marker rocks because I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. Um, now, don't quote me on the names at the moment because I just opened these and I don't know which box is which, so I'm just gonna show you guys. But this rock over here is stunning. It looks, I think this is the shelf rock, and it's got nice big flat pieces for stacking, for putting in between some more natural looking pieces like this. Now, we also have some pedestal pieces that were cut. Um, there's special pieces for the bottom. And we do also have, which I'll show you, some pre-cut pieces and boxes that you can order that come in a set ready to go. So if you're interested in already one and done, you can just buy a box. These are the stacks. They come in different sizes for nanos, um, you know, and up from there. So you can add, according to how much you need, a size of box. I'm just going to show you what these are. And they're called stacks, and literally they are pieces of rocks that are cut so you can stack them in interesting ways so it comes with different size pieces so you can shape them stack them whatever you guys like but very cool very easy we can ship these to you guys you can find them on the website you can come here and pick them up in person um, but let me just see let me check up with Isaac what are you doing over there Isaac hi how are you Check. <laughs> so right now he's stacking up and giving us a very natural um, reef setup, which we're going to use this aquascaping for mixed reef and lots of tangs and lots of fish. So this is all going in this tank over here, which is the peninsula um, and this is the Red Sea tank. So as you guys can see, the peninsula is visible from all three sides. It does have the filtration in the back here. So when you have a tank and you're aquascaping it from three sides, you have to be prepared ahead of time with the back and water flow and all the issues that are going to come with that so peninsula tanks are a little bit more challenging but definitely worth it so um i was going to have lindsay hold the camera and i was going to do some stacking for you guys but i am interested to let me see here you go lindsay i'm gonna hand this to you for a second let's see what we got <laughs> Check this out. Now, one of the things that make these rocks so, so nice is that they are cleaned up already for you. There's pretty much no debris on them. And Isaac, when you rinse them, a lot of dust come off? Yeah, it's only put in the water instantly it runs. So, that's the one thing that's great about these rocks. You don't, you don't have to worry about adding anything extra to your tank these things look like they're pretty much ready to go. So, I'm gonna need a close look at this holes. Very porous. Some people will sell you rocks and you'll pay per pound for wet rocks. And you're gonna pay a lot of money for not a lot of rock. Because a lot of that is water. And these pieces are beautiful. So there's not much more I can say, but the pedestals. So you have two types of here. And the pedestals have a bottom cut. So I like to give my fish room underneath and this lifts it off the ground. So as Lindsay's showing you now, there's plenty of room underneath. So if you're gonna stack on some rocks and build up an awesome aquascape, you wanna start with it up off the ground. So we'll show you the difference. You can get the cut top or you can get a piece for stacking. So this here, look at this, comes already cut, already mounted pedestal, you just pop it in your sand. Or if you want to, you can get one of these where it's like stacks and it's cut. And look at all those places you have for life. The fish tank's all about life, and there's plenty for copepods to hide, denitrifying bacteria, all that good stuff. But you 
something simple, or something a lot more elegant like he has every day. Which is, like I said, instant hit. It already looks like a winner. And we didn't even do any changing. I spent eight hours last time aquascaping my home tank. And honestly, it was because I was using the wrong rock. Took Isaac 15 seconds. I'm ready to be here and set up a tank. <laughs> so the cobalt tanks are great today. As you guys can see, it's an awesome all-in-one. Uh, we will put lighting on there later on. That's just going to set all in. The sand is new. It is live sand. Uh, pair of seats. Take the bag around here. This here is what we use to help speed up the tank cycle. So this is proven to reduce nitrates, and it's called the Aragonite Alive. So it helps cycle your tank very fast. And also, I wanted to show you guys this stuff here. This is a two-part um, mortar, I'm assuming, some kind of bonding material. And it's the first time I've ever used it, so I can't wait to show you guys that. But. For the big tank, we're doing a pretty high stack and I don't want any of the rocks to fall over. Something smaller like this, you don't have to worry about it. Nobody's gonna knock it over. But when you're going up to the big guys, you have to be safe and secure. So you're gonna want something like this. So watch that review. And I think I added up enough. We're gonna go have some fun, guys. We wanna get our hands dirty. I really wanna pull all of these out. And I'm gonna pull out another one to show you. And I'm here. This is just loaded with places for denitrificating bacteria. I mean, these rocks are so porous. So, there you guys go. That's our quick little update. We will get back to you later on. I just wanted to show you guys, uh, if you're in the neighborhood, stop by. We will be open pretty much all weekend. Technically, this is our soft opening until we're official next week, but come say hello. And as always, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. And thank you for being part of the Coralus community.